Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade social studies and we are going to be doing week number 11 aspect of the curriculum today. Uh, this is going to be in the government's section of the curriculum. We're going to be talking about important documents in America. Alright, and then we talked about different kinds of documents all through these curric this curriculum. We're going to be talking about some really, really key and cardinal documents that are being used to govern the United States of America. Well, the very first document we're going to be talking about is called the Supreme Law of the Land, which is the United States Constitution. Ah, what's the meaning of that? Well, the United States Constitution is a document that was drafted when the United States, right after the United States, gained independence from Great Britain. And there was uh, a couple of uh, facts that led to the drafting of the document. Actually, the first document that was drafted was called the Articles of Confederation. But the Articles of Confederation had certain flaws to it, and they came up with the United States Constitution. Now, the United States Constitution was drafted in 1787, and it's still being used in the 21st century. Well, over 300 years later, uh, we are one of the few nations that uh, can say that categorically that the same document that started started us out 300 years later is still being used to uh, govern the country um, so it was written by the American founding fathers in 1787 after the Declaration of Independence from Great Britain on July 4th 1776 uh, the United States Constitution establishes a system of government known as representative democracy. And this is an important term that you need to be aware of. So call it representative democracy. In other words, it's going to be uh, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. All right. What's the purpose of the Constitution? Well, the purpose of the Constitution will include uh, forming the government, defining the powers of the government, defining the parts of the government, protecting the rights of the people, and the Constitution of the United States includes a preamble, uh, which we're going to be talking about right now, um, the seven articles that are that describe the structure and the operation of the government, so that you're going to see a preamble and seven articles that describe the structure and operation of the government. So there is going to be preamble over here. In fact, let's try to move this to the first part here. So there is preamble. Okay, so there's preamble. And then we're going to have articles 1 to 7. Okay, so preamble of the United States Constitution states that we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and posterity, and to our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. So in other words, we're making this document, this Constitution, so that our union can be more perfect so that we can have tranquility tranquility or peace within our borders to establish justice provide defense for ourselves we're gonna have to be able to defend ourselves to pro provide for general welfare of all Americans secure the blessings of our freedom and for future generations so talking about the different reasons actually what motivated them to create the United States Constitution. So the Founding Fathers, they started out the document with this preamble. Then they went into the meat of the document and started talking about different articles. There are seven articles in total. Articles number one to three established the three branches of the government called the executive, which is the presidency, the judicial, and the legislative. All right, and articles four to seven describe the relationship uh, between the states and the federal government. It also establishes the Constitution as the supreme law of the nation and defines the process for amendment and ratification. 
All right, we talked about a little bit of that in week number three of this workbook. So this is potentially like a recap for you. Please and please reference week number three. And there is another document called the Declaration of Independence, which the Declaration of Independence was a document that was created uh, right after July 4th, 1776. Um, the founding fathers and they signed this Declaration of Independence to talk about the reason the reasons uh, America uh, rebelled against Great Britain. They talked about all their grievances and this documentation. And the documentation has uh, the first preamble to it as well, which it's which is stated over here. And let's try to practice reciting these words together. It's in the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. In other words, uh, we in the United States of America, we're going to believe that all men are created equal. Regardless of the color of your skin, black, brown, yellow, pink, or whatever shade you have in there, uh, nobody is uh, superior to another person. Everybody is created equal. And that's consistent with what the Bible says in the book of Acts. The Bible says that all men were created from one blood. And that's the reason you can give blood to another person. Regardless of the color of your skin, that person is going to receive that blood. Uh, all men created equal by their creator and they have certain rights that cannot and should not be taken away from them that's the meaning of unalienable rights it means those those rights should not be withdrawn from them and those rights are going to include rights to live which is right to life rights to their freedom which is rights to liberty and the pursuit of happiness and that to secure these rights governments are instituted among men so the reason for governments is to secure these rights uh, for the people who are created to be equal. And that's a great statement over there. And the governments are going to be deriving their powers from the consent of the governed. All right. So the Dec Declaration of Independence talks about the concept of self-government. And then it talks about uh, uh, amendments as well to the Constitution if the process to amend the Constitution if there were to be a need for that. All right, so another important document is called the Bill of Rights. So the Bill of Rights is uh, another document which was created right after the Constitution, actually. Um, and its, its attempt was to uh, make the Constitution of the United States a little bit more, more complete. Um, and it was created, I believe, the first set of amendments uh, was uh, ratified in 1791 okay and as that's 1992 there had been 27 27 amendments uh, in the United States okay so uh, we talked about the details of the Bill of Rights in the earlier section of this curriculum so please check previous notes you are going to see that uh, but you are going to see over here these documents that we're talking about, the Bill of Rights, uh, and then certain other questions like what did the Declaration of Independence do? Okay, so you got to be able to know that and be able to um, articulate that as a fifth grade uh, <laughs> student of our curriculum. Um, we talked about the economic system of the United States a little bit. It is capitalism or capitalist or market economy. What's the rule of rule of law? Well, every, everyone must follow the rule of law. That's the civics aspect of the curriculum right now. Documents that influence the United States Constitution will include the Declaration of Independence, the Bible, because you can see that everything being talked about in this Constitution, we work to look at it. They are literally morals that they learn from the Bible. The Articles of Confederation, the Federalist Papers, Anti-Federalist Papers, Virginia Declaration of Rights, and 
fundamental orders, orders of Connecticut and Mayflower Compact. These are certain documents that influenced the United States Constitution. All right, I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Please go ahead and take the take your time to do the homework. I think we're going to call this a homework because uh, I want to give you time to do it from home with the help of your daddy or your mommy. All right. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.